welcome back to the channel basswood carving all right today i got a really fun project for you and this is really cool um so we're going to start right we're going to get right into it i'm going to show you how i went about carving this piece and um if you look i got a little light and we got a little light up jack-o-lantern all right pretty cool everybody loved it um, got people like, I want one, I want one, I want one. So get ready. If you're going to carve one of these, you're going to carve more than one. So I thought, well, this is a good chance to make a good video. And, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be kind of a, a process. So, uh, probably won't be all done in one video. We'll probably put parts of the video up. Um, so, so let's get into it. This is how I created it. All right. So my size of block is going to be two inch by two inch by this one's a five and a quarter actually this was just a piece of wood i had already cut so i didn't cut it down but we're gonna we're gonna band saw this one out anyway because i want to kind of bust through this there's a lot of steps to creating it um so yeah two by two by five and a quarter it looks like um so um here's what we're going to do first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the center on the bottom all right so we want to okay so we want to find the centers of our block here so we got a one inch center we got that one marked and then we're going to come in here and we got a three and a half so that's going to be 1.75 inch and three quarters will be our center inch and three quarters right here okay i'm just going to put a little line there we don't we don't need to draw the whole thing out yet actually we'll go ahead and draw it out Okay, so what we got to do is we got to create a cavity for this light. Okay, and the light is about an inch and a half. So it's going to leave me with about a half inch on each side. Okay, um, so that's why we want to make sure we're dead center. So our light ends up in the center. All right, and then I'm going to put a little pilot hole. Whoops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to move the camera. I'm going to put a little pilot hole right here, right in the center, just pull my bit down in there, okay, a little off center. It don't matter, I'm going to use an inch and a half spade bit. I'm going to take you up and show you that process as well. So as long as I'm close to center right there, that dude will pull itself in. Okay. So we got to create this cavity right here for the light to sit up in. All right. And that's going to probably be the thing that takes us the most time is putting that cavity in there. But I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. All right. So... Bear with me, let's go out to the garage and let's put our hole in and then we're going to cut our piece out. Now on this particular one, um, as you can see, I had a little wider block on that one, but I had to use this block because that was the only piece that I had that was big enough to fit. All right, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this dude a little fatter than what it actually is. That's what's cool about a pattern is that even though I have a pattern, I don't have to stick to it. So I'm going to keep this dude a little bigger. Just so we get a little more pumpkin out of him. Alright. Alright, so let's head out to the garage. Let's drill our bore hole in here. And split the two. we're going to split the block in two. All right, so head out to the garage with me.
Okay, I want to set my drill press so I don't go any deeper than the hat right there. That's as deep as I want to go. Okay? And I don't even really have to go that deep, so I probably won't do that all the way deep. Okay, next step is we're going to split this block in half and I'll show you what's going to happen after that.
Okay, so now that we got our block in two pieces, we're gonna put a couple of pins in here to hold it together so we can carve the outside before we glue it, or carve the inside and, and the outside a little bit. Once we glue it, we can do all the finish carving on it. So I open this up so I can create a cavity in here for the light. And as you can see, I want to clean all that out inside there. And I'm going to use my Beavercraft uh, spoon carving tool and some gouges. And um, it, it, we're going to get most of it out of there pretty quick. All right. So next thing we got to do is we got to find two positions for a pin to put a, a pin in. And we can put two pins in um, just to hold it together. Um, they'll just... If we put three pins in, it'll just help. It'll just help hold it together when we're carving it, sort of like the horse I did. Okay, so I'm going to go to the center, inch and three quarter again. Put a little mark. And these pins don't necessarily have to be in the centers; they just have to be in the same spot so they connect together. You, it'll all make sense when you see what I'm doing. Okay, so better measure down. So down I'm at, let's go an inch and a half. As long as it stays inside of what I'm gonna cut out on the bandsaw, I'm in good shape. Okay, so let's go an inch and a half down. inch and three quarters over try to keep that in the camera for you I'm gonna have to look at it though folks real quick just to make sure I got my ruler in the right spot okay so inch and three quarter right there so our little first little pin is gonna go right there Plus, this will help hold it together so you get it all glued together in the right spot. All right, so I'm going to go up. And I'll end up carving one of these pins out of there. Actually, once I have it carved, you'll see. It's kind of hard to explain. Once I have it carved, um, it'll be easy to put back together. This is basically just to hold it together so I can carve it and get the inside out and put it back together. All right, so I'm going up an inch and a half there. Let's go up an inch and a half here. The last time on that one, I ended up cutting my pins off because I turned it around after I had my pins in there. I already had it cut out, so I kind of cut the pins out, which is fine because once I got it carved on the outside, it's easy to fit back together because you know where your edges are. But you'll see that as we move along. Okay, so... Same thing on this one. I'm going to go up an inch and a half. It's not even that critical that the pins, if, even if you got to waller out the hole a little bit to make the pins fit together, it won't hurt nothing. It'll, it'll still be, uh, you'll still be able to keep it together. Okay, so let's go up, or let's go in, let's go in, uh, let's see, what is that, turn this around, let's go in, um, let's go in, one eighth, let's go uh, five sixteenths in. And you'll be a, you can figure this out when you got your pattern on there. Two, three, four, five, sixteenths in. I'm just doing it just helps to get the pins to line up on side to side. Both sides actually. Alright. So we go in five sixteenths on this line. 
That's correct. 516th and 516th. One, two, three, four, five. Is that right? One, two, a quarter plus a sixteenth. Quarter plus a sixteenth is right there. And the same thing over here. Okay, let me get my drill and pin set up and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I had a little file error there and that's why I want to make sure I give you the right measurements again. Okay, so we come up an inch and a half. We went five sixteenths from the edge, five sixteenths from the edge. That's where we're going to put our two pins down here. Did that on both sides, up an inch and a half in five sixteenths then down from the center we came an inch and a half and then we went right to the center inch and three quarters inch and three quarters we're off just a little bit right there double check this one inch and three quarters check both sides that'll make sure you get dead center Okay, so it's just a little bit over. So I'm gonna split the difference right there. I'm gonna put it right there. And an inch and three quarters, okay? So I'm gonna put a little pilot hole in each one of these, right where I want the pin to start. And it don't even have to be deep, it just... Okay. And we'll get a bigger drill bit and a bigger pin in the pins, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so we got uh, we got this little dowel rod, and you can get these. There's like a mixed pack of uh, dowels you can get at Walmart in the craft section, and um, mine has um, it's all mixed sizes in it. Um, so you can get those at Walmart and then uh, I used the smallest dowel in there and I think it's I don't know what the size of it is it's less than it's looks like it's about one eighth uh, a little over one eighth almost a quarter almost a quarter inch dowel okay and I cut these at about five eighths inches long So basically just get your knife and roll this thing a block of wood it doesn't even you don't know this has to be perfect all this is doing is creating an anchor piece that we can put together our piece and get a good glue set up so all right so I got those and then see I need one more get one more As long as you drill your, don't 
drill your hole too deep to where you lose your pin down inside there. You want to make sure your pin is a little longer. And a little longer is better because you can always cut a little bit of it off. I need a new beaver craft knife for that. This is a nice Lloyd knife. Really, it, it, I stropped it up really good, and then it was, it was mean sharp. I mean mean. Okay, so I got my pins. Where my? Okay, there's three pins. All right, we're gonna put one here, one here, and one here. All right. So I got a little pilot hole, and I'm using a quarter inch bit. And this is always the part that's like, mm, is it going to fit together right? Don't drill through either. Make sure you don't drill through all the way. If you want, you can put a little tape marker on there to make sure that you don't drill down too deep. And it definitely helps to put that little pilot hole in there so it don't walk on you. This is this is like getting it to fit together is a little tricky, but once you got it, it's nice that you can put it together and carve on it. And let's see, we got one more here to go. But yeah, do the pilot hole just so it don't walk on me. My first piece walked on me. So I had to waller it all out to get the pegs to fit, but it still didn't hurt nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me, because we haven't carved anything and we haven't cut anything out yet. You want to do this before you band saw cut it. If you're going to band saw cut it, if you're going to car carve it by hand, you still want to do this. And try to keep it go straight. Okay, all right, let's uh, clean these little burrs off of here. It's a little bit of prep work just to get your piece ready, but there's really not a lot of carving on it. It's most of the time is like getting your piece together and then hollow, hollowing out the inside. If you carved the pumpkin before, you should be able to whip through the pumpkin carving part of it. Of course, I'm going to go slow so everybody sees what I'm doing. And like I said, this is definitely going to be a multiple part video because my prep time alone will probably be almost 30 minutes by the time I get everything edited down and everything but clean all these edges off clean all this fuzzy stuff off away from your hole a little bit and we're gonna check our pegs we may have to clean them out a little bit more um, take your little peg and get it started it down in there I'm gonna I'm gonna go off camera and use my little tack hammer and tack these in and I'll bring you right back okay so went on and got my pegs in place off camera um, put a little super glue on them still that one didn't didn't hold it but got your three pegs in there okay and then I cleaned out the hole just a little bit more just so to get it started. And if you got everything right, your piece should line up like that. Okay. My peg might be a little long. So I'm going to shorten that peg up just a little bit. And I think it's this one here got a little too long. No big deal. The other thing is taking... Um, 
you can take and carve the tips a little bit. <coughs> the other thing is you can take the tips off a little bit and that will help it line up on the hole when you uh, go to get your hole lined up as a full piece. Don't glue both sides, just glue the one side so it holds the pegs in there. And then just take, if you have to, just take your peg down a little bit. It's better longer than too short. That you can take a little bit off, especially after you got it super glued in there. I'll even glue it a little better once I get it closing up. Almost there, the bottoms. Bottoms close, I think they're still just a little bit too long. I can deepen my holes a little bit, but I'm afraid. I think I can deepen this one a little bit. I just don't want to go through it. peg there as I can there we go okay nice and tight now we're gonna cut a lot of this off right here anyway so I'm not too worried about that and once I got my piece cut out um, I am going to uh, clean that off if any of that's left over just so it closes up real nice the other thing I want to do is I want to make this hat a little a little wider at the top up here where it's that tip is so I just usually if I'm bandsawing something I'll go ahead and draw me a cut line so I can leave a little bit on there to cut up to so I'll carve up to that That way, if I need to make a little bit of adjustment in carving something, I can. I'd rather have more more wood than not enough wood. And I created these patterns with clip art, so I can give you a pattern on the website. and on. The, uh, so I'll leave you a link in the description for the pattern. Because I kind of put, put the hats on, the pumpkins, and there we go. So we're ready to cut this dude out. I'm going to go cut it out now. And... Um, I'll probably film that just for you, have something to watch, but I'll cut it out and then I'll come back and we're going to get started carving it out.
Okay, uh, we got her all band sawed out. We got her fitting together, as you can see. And then when I squeeze it together with my clamps, I'll be able to close up this little gap. And then we'll put a little glue on there. And I'll show you how you can pretty much hide that. Hide that cut line where you put it together. No big deal on that. Uh, make sure your light fits up in there. And it does. And I'm going to probably... I'll lose a little bit on here when I'm carving out the inside so it'll fit in there. As you can see, I carved it a little bigger. It'll fit in there fine. Once I, again, I used an inch and a half spade bit because that's the size of these little lights. And I think we got these at the Dollar Tree. I don't know, or Dollar Store. I'm pretty sure we got quite a few of them. Um, but so here's what we're going to do next. All right. First off, don't carve the inside out yet. I want you to go ahead and get your pumpkin down to size, work on your hat, do all that stuff first. There's always time to go back in here and carve that out. Because if you carve it too far and you start to carve your outside edges, then you could carve right into it. Once we get it down to where the shape we want, and we got it all shaped up pretty close, we'll go inside here because we can take this apart. And we'll draw some little lines and that's where we'll cut it out to we'll chisel we'll clean all this out spoon carve it out pretty much it's like a spoon and we won't even once we got it all the outside pretty well carved together we won't even have to worry too much about these um, we'll probably actually come right through them anyway and we'll cut probably end up cutting them off it, they won't matter when I put this one together, I only had one peg at the top by the time I was done. My two pegs in here were in the cut, were in the scoop outside, so it didn't even matter. Once I put it, once I had it all carved together, carved, I had a, a way to put it all together. So you'll see as we move along. Okay, so, um, your, yeah, your piece should fit together just like that. And it's just three pe pegs. You could probably get by with two. Um, but it's basically to hold it together while I carve it. And then we'll glue it all up and we'll, and we'll, you won't even see the grooves. If you do, you no big deal. Um, you're gonna paint it anyway, so you can paint right over it. All right, so uh, let's get started carving. Now the first thing that I did wanna do was I wanted to mark where my faces were, my eyes and stuff, so. Um, let me put my glasses on so I can see. All right. And what I did on the other one was I just took my knife and I went along my mouth. And just put some lines in there. This one's going to be completely different. I'll put both patterns up. You can choose which one you want to do. And I realize everybody don't have a bandsaw and a drill press and all that tool, those tools. Um, I mean, it is possible to do this. You could, uh, the hardest part will be carving out the inside. Um, but if you could find somebody maybe that could cut it out for you, um, maybe somebody at your church or at work or something, has some tools that they could do the cutting for you and get your piece prepped up. Um, I know at our carving club, there's a lot of guys that's got tools that'll cut stuff up for people. And uh, so just ask around, you know. Um, if all else fails, go to Go to your woodcraft store. There's usually a carving guy at the woodcraft store. And friend him up. And tell him you'll give him a couple bucks if he cuts it out for you. Everybody was like, man, you could sell those on Etsy. Um, but I'm not in it for the sales and to do all that because then it becomes a job to me and I'm not interested in it being a job this is, I got enough jobs this is this is my hobby I guess doing YouTube is the closest to 
be in a job because I gotta put out videos but friend you up somebody that's got some tools um, and get them to cut your pieces out it really wasn't that bad I took I took my time because I wanted to record it on video so I kind of took my time my first one the first one I did I cut out put together pretty quick it wasn't it wasn't that bad This is a fun little project when it all turns out. I painted the other one yesterday because I wanted to get the video going today. And I wanted to have a finished piece for you to see. So I finished painting it up yesterday. As soon as I did, my wife said it was hers. But I want to get this early for you in October because I got a bunch of other Halloween stuff we're going to do. Some other figures and stuff like that. So, um, I wanted to get this one up first so you could make one if you wanted or make a few. I imagine this won't be the last one I'm going to make. I still got my mom and my sister once they see them they're gonna be like, I want one you know how it is okay so basically I just outlined my facial structure on there just so I know where it's gonna be and where it's gonna fall and when I start carving the top of the hat and stuff like that um, you know it's not gonna look exactly like this but you know it doesn't have to it's just a it's just something to get me started and get me going all right so let's carve a little bit um, just start rounding that hat down got a lot of wood to take off and I got some nice some nice good basswood here from Heineke